Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here with another episode of My Summer Car. I've got some good news for us. The, uh, the store called and our post order is ready to pick up uh, off camera. I submitted the order. Hello? Off camera, I submitted the order. So now it's actually, you know what I'm going to do? I don't know exactly how big... Uh, the order is, so it's better to take the delivery van, I believe, uh, just so we can be sure that our boxes will indeed fit. And it's interesting being back in the van, uh, we haven't been in the van for a while. There we go. Door is shut. We'll make our way to the gas station and pick up the boxes. Waiting on those glow plugs. Here we go. All right, engine is on, parking brake is off, and let us depart as long as we don't hit a tree. Nope, I think we are good. Excellent. I don't exactly remember what I ordered for sure. I believe the radiator was definitely in one of them. Ah, whoa, 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 okay. Don't die on the way to pick up our parts. I believe the radiator was one of them and I definitely got the dashboard gauges. So when we uh, get our gauges back, we can place them on our dashboard and really get our car fine tuned. Uh, the exhaust muffler and the exhaust pipe and the muffler are definitely going to be uh, on the radar as well as that dual carburetor uh, basically focusing on our engine and performance first then we'll save up enough for the tires and then we can do the additional cosmetic stuff such as the steering wheel the spoiler and the splitter and fender flares which might be pretty cool but uh, you have seen this road many times before I am just going to go ahead and speed my way on down the highway. Uh, I'll keep recording just in case something crazy happens as tends to happen with this game. But I will see you for sure when we reach the gas station and pay for our postage. All right, it's looking a little dark here on the road. Perhaps we're going to get uh, some rain, maybe? Or we've just got intense cloud cover, one of the two. But it was definitely odd to see uh, darkness fall, everybody. But so far, so good. A nice, quiet trip. Only a few cars on the road, which is good. And I don't hear the wub wub thump thump of... Uh, the green monster, so. Pretty cool stuff indeed. One thing I notice about this van, if you get it over 100, it starts picking up a wibble wobble. And this is not a vehicle that you want to uh, lose control of extremely top heavy uh, probably very small tires and a very narrow wheelbase it almost seems like this thing is a flip waiting to happen so I'll keep it around a hundred I mean that is the speed limit after all and we shouldn't get run into town should be coming up just around the corner so I'll uh, continue speeding this up and see you there
All right, ladies and gentlemen, left turn coming up. The general store slash post office slash fuel station slash casino slash pub uh, is our destination here. Let's pull on in. Uh, we might have clipped the, uh, the old gas tank, but no worries. All right, ignition off. Let's hop out of the vehicle here and see what the damage is when it's all said and done. Uh, we'll be able to pick up our packages right here at the loading dock. So let's go ahead and open up our uh, trunk so we can throw in our goodies. All right, dude, what is the damage? Hopefully we've got some good stuff in here. Two grand. Leaves us with only 900. While we are here... All right, 200 bucks worth of groceries, uh, we need it. We're running really low on food in the grand scheme of things, and there are our parts, so it looks like our gauges and our radiator. So we can definitely roll with that. We could probably fit that in the car when it's all said and done, but I wanted to be extra sure. When we get those rally tires, definitely we will need to uh, bring this delivery van because I don't believe they will fit in our car. And I think these things are packed pretty well. Just toss them in the back of the van because why not? and let us make our way back home and uh, see what we got going on. Awesome. Handbrake release, first gear, and uh, let's head back home so I will see you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it appears that on our way home, it decides to rain, and I don't have any windshield wipers installed on this thing, or my windshield wiper button isn't working, one of the two. Uh, certainly the windshield looks like there were windshield wipers uh, wiping away, but I don't know, maybe they, uh, they fell off the van, and it's not like we can upgrade this thing at all. I know my car has windshield wipers, but would it be too much to ask that... Oh, we're fine. All right, onward to home. Alright, looks like the only thing stopping us now from getting home is the green hitchhiker vehicle. Uh, so I gotta be especially on the lookout for it because there's no way in telling uh, which direction he's going or where he is at. And I'm excited to get these aftermarket parts uh, back home and installed on the car.
All right, that was a little scary, not going to lie. I'm sort of uh, honing my rally skills, yeah. That's what I was doing driving off-road like that, making sure that I could save a, a loose vehicle. Yeah, those are the lies I keep telling myself. I just plain flat out missed that corner. Dude, fix your driveway. Well, it was probably my fault for trying to get back quickly. Although I will blame this stupid van. I mean, I'm entitled to. All right, just a little bit away from the house. No worries. As long as our boxes are fine and they were packed well, if they can survive the mailing system, they can survive my driving. Shoot, I'm surprised that's not a game mode that they want to put in, is a mail delivery driver. Imagine what that's like. You have like a time limit to deliver a package from the post office to someone's house. Just sort of throwing that idea out there. And you heard it here first. If, if there's ever a mail delivery mission, uh, you can bring them to this video. All right, handbrake on. Ignition off, let's go ahead and put these on the car while we're here. Shouldn't take too awful long and I don't actually think uh, any tools are required. So I'll open the door here. Um, the fuel mixture gauge will go right here and then the uh, electrics gauge will go right there. And I may, whoops, I may save the radiator for a rainy day. All right, indeed, and there we go. The gauges look pretty cool and I don't see any bolts required. Let's go ahead and squeeze on in here. Hopefully it doesn't, all right. Didn't break the windshield. So our electrics meters are on. Let's grab our awesome radiator. Ah, you look amazing. You will be awesome to put on uh, in the next episode. Let me set it gently on the ground there. I'll put that in my garage in the meantime. Uh, and we also have, well, probably be better if we open the door from this side. Hello, little buddy. We also have our fuel mixture gauge, which will help us tune the carburetor in the next episode, as well as put on the radiator. Like a so. Very, very nice. You know what? I'm curious. Just, uh... Indeed. We've got gauge activity. I'm a fan. Sweet. So all I gotta do now is uh, bring in the groceries and take care of myself. Come on, give me the groceries. Sweet. Oh, crap. Well, uh, I hit the wrong button. And uh, I'm not going to bring these in one at a time. So uh, from here on out, looks like the van is going to be the refrigerator. At least we won't run out of food on our travels. But that is going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty stoked that we have our racing radiator. Uh, in the next episode, we'll tune up the carburetor a bit and install our racing radiator. And um, you know what, this episode, um, let's go ahead and order another part. Or at least get some pricing. Nope, that's the bathroom. At least get some pricing on what is coming up next. Uh, so we could get ourselves a spoiler. Uh, I'm not all about this window slits in the, in the back windshield. But I do like this spoiler layout. And I do like the front splitter uh, combo here. I do like that. Uh, rally tires are a must. The steering wheel. Um, that would be pretty simple. We got those picked. I don't care about music. All right, so maybe the muffler and the exhaust combo. 
I think I'll do some odd jobs uh, off camera and then place the order for the headers, the exhaust, and the, uh, the muffler for our next episode. But that is going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of My Summer Car. And uh, stay tuned. Our car is just getting started. So I will see you in the next video. Take care.